Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest IX. So, uh, if you remember the last episode, we beat the Raging Contagion, but it was a bittersweet thing because Katarina passed away from the disease, unfortunately, but we did it. Bittersweet ending, but you know. Oh! Oh, hi PT, welcome back! Everyone's talking about how you the Wandering Mestral P2. Oh, the Wandering Mestral P2 saved Stormway. You should hear them. You become quite the celebrity. I must say, I'm getting a, quite a lot of attention just because I'm friends with you. Oh yes, before I forget, I found this when I was cleaning up the cellar. It's a pot for doing alchemy in. Apparently, an improvised alchemist left it at pay his bill ages ago. Not sure how to use it, but it's a nice looking old thing, so I thought I'd pop it up it here to brighten the place up a bit. Oh yes, very tasteful. It's beautifully made as well. Yep, I got a good feeling about this old thing. Ah, so the alchemy pot is here. Ah hoo! Ah hoo! Apparently that's how people sleep. Uh... Mm, what? Uh, sleep? Goodness gracious, what an absurd suggestion. Absolutely not. Oh, and you must be... And uh, you're able to hear my dulcet tones, it seems. How fortunate for you. Meet the Bastard of Metamorphosis, the magical monarch of mutation, the Tin Pot King of Alchemy himself, Crackpot. Hi, Crackpot. <laughs> Alchemy, my boy, is the Asian art of mixing items together to create something that exceeds the sum of its parts. And I offer the splendid service a little, no cost. No, no, thank me later. That is, er, uh, do you want to use me, I take it? You do? Excellent! Oh, uh, not that I had any doubt in you, you would say yes, of course. you clearly aching to get alchemizing. Which means it's high time we started cooking something up. Oh, but I must give you this first, naturally. PT receives the, al the Alchemicon. He learns the recipe for a strong medicine, a special medicine, and superior medicine. He also learns the recipes for strong antidote, special antidote, and soft wart. The Alconomicon is now accessible for the battle records menu. The Alconomicon is, is the indispensable tome that allows the alchemist to record and replicate recipes for oodles of exciting items. You only have a... What's, what's that? You only have a meager repertoire of recipes at the boat. Scour bookshelves of the world and that will soon change. Therein lie the true treasures of alchemy, the juicy secrets of an occult art. But we mustn't let ourselves get carried away. No, no, even the most, uh, eminent alchemists start from humble beginnings. So the first time on the agenda is the selective method of alchemy. If I may, I will recommend alchemizing from a recipe. Okay, so we're going to kind of learn how to use Crackpot. Uh, let's see. Let's look at all the recipes. We got special medicine. Uh, strong medicine. Let's try to do this one here. Just one. And... Strong medicine. Okay. And we'll try use a... We'll try making some special medicine real quick. Oh, uh... I, I suppose I should come back to this later. We don't actually need to stay here right now. Because as you can see, there's not really much for us to make here. So let's get out. Thank you ever so much, my boy. Okay. So the reason why I came back here to Stornway is because we're going to swap out some party members. We're just going to swap off uh, Gabriel real quick. Thanks for helping us out with that. And we're going to take Hunter with this. Kind of just change it up a bit. So I'm probably going to cut most of this out, but uh, we're going to be going to the Starflight Express. Because we don't want to hang around here. Hold on, let me... Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's see... Equip. Let's see if I got anything for old Hunter here. This. You got anything? 
That's 75, that's 76, let's give you that. Alright. So it doesn't seem like we need anything right now. Also, if you hear like something roaring in the background, that's just the heater. So don't worry about that. Blimey, she looks like she could do it cheering up. Hey, P2, she must be a ghost. Why don't you ask her what's wrong? She looks like she could use an ear to cry into. He's not here. What? He's not here either. Charming, talk about cold shoulders. Some people are just, are so flapping rude. I mean, you're kind of rude to me, though. Ah, never mind. We got better things to be doing. All aboard the Starflight Express. And that is what we're going to do right now. Come on, get a wiggle on. The old rust puck isn't going anywhere without you to help it get its feet off the ground. Woohoo! Look at her! I see she's finally decided you're a Celestrian after all, wouldn't you, P2? That's it. Now all I have to do is, er, flies home. No problem for the daft handed driver of the Starfly Express, of course. I'll just, er, pro prog mag what's the what is that programulate the co coordinates into that control panel over there and we'll be up up and away before you can wink well you don't really know how to write this thing do you okay er obviously it, all I have to do is hop onto the controls there and it's next stop to the observatory but, um, we're not in that much of a hurry, so if you got any uh, unfinished business here, I don't buy waiting. What's it to be? Yes. Really? Oh, er, alright then. Um, aye aye, Captain. Full steam ahead. No time for the second thoughts now. Here we go then. It's takeoff time! Let's see, just a little tap here, and then let's try that one there, and then... Aha! I did it! I did it! Ahem, I mean, obviously I did it. After all, I'm the Cucumber Cool Captain at the Starflight Express. I don't know about that. Right then, Observatory, here we come! Woohoo! Here we go! Back to my actual home! Some people are very fascinated with trains. I wonder if any people are like that here. Oof. Oh, wow. It does not look good up here. Jeez Louise. Oh, almighty architect. Oh, abundant egg drizzle. Grant us shelter in these tru turbulent times. We fear for the safety of the observatory. Can it be? How quickly the prayers of our pious are answered.
Behold, this is our flight express, here to carry us to salvation. Avis Major, someone's emerging from within. Hmm? By the stars! P2, is it truly you? What are you doing aboard the... What is this? Your wings, your halo. What horrors have you suffered, child? You lost your wings when you fell from the observatory, and the Starflight Express came to your aid, you say. But what if the other Celestrians who are gone to the realm beneath? Why are you alone return to us? Forgive me, child. Your homecoming is more than sufficient reason to give thanks to the Almighty on high. Come now, tell us the events unfolding in the Protectorate. These of P2's safe return soon spread through the, throughout the observatory. He explains to Apis Major how he lost his wings in Halo and the fall to the world below. And how many strange things are now taking place there. Hmm. So the Protectorate 2 was ravaged by the same beams of light that pierced the observatory that ill-fated day. Am I gonna get my wings and halo back? I remember it vividly, as I'm sure you do, P2, the day that Yggdrasil shall pour fruit at long last. The the iniquitous light that from the world below carved its way through our hollow realm in the Starflight Express. In the figs, Yggdrasil's sacred fruits they tumbled from our grasp, as did you, of course, P2. Many of our number later descended to the Protectorate to search for those who had fallen to seek out the source of the attack. But alas, as yet you are the only one to return. We remain anxious for all of those missing, but it's a blessing that you at least are safe. You must give thanks to Yggdrasil for your safe return. Go to her and offer up a prayer of gratitude for your deliverance. She may even restore you to your true celestial form. There's no time like the present, Guardian P2. Go now and may the blessings of the Almighty go with you. Right then, that's done. I brought P2 back to the observatory safe and sound, as promised. Well now, you know what they say. Time to tie the weight for Norman. What the? And I'm not Norman, so I best be off. Good luck with that. It's nice to know you, P2. Short but sweet. See you then. Wait, see, then? That's what I say! Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? Me too, you return to us. This is wonderful news. Praise be to the Almighty. Akila is not with you. But when you fell to the Protectorate that day, he... It matters not. You should meet with Columba. She will be relieved to see you safe as well. She usually found just below us. Columba, huh? Mighty Corvus, shine your light on Akila and P2 that they may return safely into us. Oh, P2! Praise the stars, you are safe! What if Akila, has he returned with you? Oh, I see. I was sure you'd be together. Did you not know? Akila is sent to the Protector in search of you, but he is yet to return. This is why you find me here. I have been praying ceaselessly at this monument for both of you to return to us unharmed. It is a monument to Corvus. He erected it so that no Celestial would ever forget him. Come, allow me to read the inscription to you. In, in memory of Corvus, whose noble heart and compassion for mortals shall never be forgotten. Let this monument be a reminder to our promise to guard the protector until our return to the realm of the Almighty. Many moons ago, many hundreds of years in the past, Corvus was Aquila's master. He descended to the Protectorate to become guardian of a village, and he disappeared. We knew not what became of him, and we were powerless to do anything but pray for his return. That's why Aquila was so concerned. He feared he would lose you and he lost as he lost his master. No doubt he is even scouring the Protectorate in search of you. Mighty Corvus, the noble master of Aquila, priest protect your apprentice in his hour of need. See that he returns to unharm to the observatory. 
Okay. Of course, his name is okay. He's once he was teacher, just for the oh, yeah, kind of work for falling out. Know? All we can do is pray for her soul. Good word that you at vet with the same fate. Decided to protect her and search for you. Alright, your turn to see who us. Okay, so that's where she is. By the way, hope you guys are enjoying this, uh, this little, uh, series so far. Like, I still haven't heard anything about from the Smash Brothers thing, so, I'm, you know. I'm just doing all I can. It's kind of tough for a little YouTuber like myself, but... I'm doing all I can to do it, so if you guys really do like it, I hope you guys, uh, like and subscribe. Offer a prayer to Yggdrasil? He too prays uh, fervently at the foot of the body Yggdrasil, the world tree. He prays so long and hard that he falls into a deep, deep sleep. I uh, hear hope that you can bring all this back. Yay, the world's not fit to inhabit my kingdom. The sense of greed, of falsehood, of dishonor are likened to a plague among them. From dust they came, and to dust I shall return them. I beg of you, stay your hand. Wherefore do you defy me? Father, I, I have faith in the mortals. You cannot, you must not, lay waste to their realm, I beg of thee. Silence! Oh, that was a weak one. Sorry about that. Uh, you shall not sway me. The mortals will be eradicated. Father, I, I have faith in the mortals. I assume this form that the mortals and their realm might be shielded from your wrath. I will. I must protect them. P2 awakens from a strange dream. Despite his prayers, neither P2's wings nor his halo are restored to him. Oh, well, that sucks. But just then, he hears a mysterious voice. P2, Celestrian and Guardian, we rejoice that you returned to the observatory. That you were able to return without wings or halo, this is surely a sign that fate has chosen you. P2, I shall open the way before you. This tree shall guide you to the next destination fate would have you visit. And precious P2. Precious? I bestow upon you this spell that you may travel in an instant for any domain that you have here heretofore visit. It. P2 learns Zoom! So yeah, Zoom is a very potent spell. Well, not potent spell. It doesn't help you attack better, but it helps you warp places without the use of a uh, Chimera Wing. So Chimera Wings have essentially like become obsolete now. We don't need them anymore. P2, Celestrian Guardian, return once more to the mortal realm. Journey of, of or the Starflight Express to the lands below and gather the figs that lie scattered there. Do this, P2, for all mortal kind, for their salvation. I don't know who that voice is, but I'll do it. So, P2, are your wings and halo restored? No? Despite your prayers, Yggdrasil has not restored your celestial powers. I... My sympathies, P2. It would seem that you endured this divested state for some time yet. I mean, you must endure this divested state for some time yet. Sorry. Really? Upon offering your prayers to Yggdrasil, you witnessed mysterious dream, you say? Tell me of this vision, every last detail. What do you make of it? Hmm, mysterious dream indeed. One, with, one who would destroy the world, and one who would save it. I fear that, unbeknownst to us, a terrible conflict may be brewing. Is it 
It is tragic you have lost your wings in Halo, P2. But perhaps there is a meaning to your, to your misfortune. After all, you are now able to ride the Starfly Express. I believe that your dream may have been a message from the Grand Architect himself. If the voice of the Almighty instructed you to gather figs, then gather figs you must. Figs harbor the power of Yggdrasil. They may indeed hold the key to the salvation of its protectorate and the observatory alike. Time, P2, is of the essence. You must leave at once. Bring the figs safely back to us. Our destinies are in your hands. Yeah, no pressure or anything from coming from an apprentice. And I guess we're going back down. Uh, let's go on the let's go on the star flight. I've got a job to do, and I must not do it. Where the fluff has old fat guts got to? I'm sure I'd find it if we've actually get back here. Must have fallen down to the protector at one of those light beams struck. I'm gonna have to go hunt for the old codger net now. I really bother to go look for him. I don't suppose I've got much uh, much choice if I want my wages. Oh, hi P2. Didn't expect to see you here. No time for pleasantries, I'm afraid. Got an annoying errand to run. Gotta go and look for someone as it happens. What's that? You need to go back to the protectorate too. But we can go together. What a turn out for the books. Come on then, let's go. Stella joins P2. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but hey. Right, so let's get this show on the railroad back to the border realm. Hmm, the old girl's still not running at full steam ahead. Is she going to make it down in one piece, I wonder? Oh, hang on. What's that blue tree thing? I'll just plop her down on top of that. We should have the softest landing. Uh, softish. Hmm. Well, I don't have any better ideas, so unless your brain's waving at you with something amazing, it's my plan or nothing. Look out, mortals. Here we come. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Don't make us crash. Go back down there. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, this is looking good. That must be it. Also, there's something else important that's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached our destination. All change, please. So it looks like uh, we can only land in place with those blue trees for, and for the moment. You have to flat foot it from here. If you want to get back aboard the Starflight, I'm sure you'll find a way if you go rooting around at the root of the tree. I've got an inkling feeling that the building we saw must be All Trades Abbey. You can change vocations and stuff there. It's always a chalk to the book, chalk to the block with people, and where there's people, there's bound to be something going on. Right, I'm on a man hunt, and you're on a well of fruit hunt, I suppose. Let's pray that we both find our prey. Ha! All right. P2's companions come into view. Ah, uh, you guys are here. Oh no! It's a monkey. Two monkeys. Some bad boons appear. Alright, Hunter, you haven't been with us for the last battle, but, uh, sure hope that you can find the strength to come with us and keep us safe, I guess. Let's try. Alright, he's envenomated. Uh, you got hit by one thing. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh god, that hurts. Don't, 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 don't. Ah, crimey Christmas. Okay. You hit him. You hit him. Alright, he's a better way. Ah, we're both too scared to act. 
stop it. Leave us alone. It's a good thing she knows how to poison people. Uh, bang, and you hit it with this. Okay, there's one. Alright, and there's two. Good, uh, good job, everyone. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Let's go up here. Um, I'm gonna try to, like, grind off screen, but... I gotta go and check this place out up here. Hello. This is the place man, to which those are flock who wish to change the vocations come. And unfortunately, at the boat, we're unable to help them. Mm. Hope they're all traits happy. Holy home and vocational reassignment. I'm afraid at the boat, we cannot. Alright, uh... Oh wait, well, hold on, let me go ahead and save it here real quick. If you ask that the abbot be returned safely to us. Go ahead and give this a quick save, and then we'll look around. It's too bad we can't change our vocations here. I was gonna turn P2 into a, uh... Also into a martial artist, because that's what he is. Look, what's going on, eh? Some of us have come halfway around the world for this change of vocation, you know? Arr, I spent what few coins I had to pay for this year trip, yeah? And now you're saying we can't cha change trades after and all? It was tough for an old stick like me to get here, you know? And I did to fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a maid. So I'm not budding this spot until I've got a little frilly dress and a feather duster in my head. Oh. Hmm. I don't know how that's gonna work out for you, old guy, but... You know what? Have fun with that. I can only apologize to you all. Abbot Jack is absent at present. If you could all just wait a little... How long have you been fobbing us off with that, eh? We'll still be standing here next year if you believe you're rubbish. I really am most dreadfully sorry. I implore you to be patient just a while longer. The all them spells uh, as ups your defense and weaknesses, enemies, and such like as a stronger effect if you cast them more than once. If I'm a change of vocation, perhaps I should pick one as lots of spells as they. But being a warrior be good and all. I don't understand a word you said. Oh, you're in a change of vocations and all, are you? Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but it ain't gonna happen. The abbot skipped town, so no one's changing nothing. I'm not budding to this from this part till I get turned into a me. We have searched in all the obvious places for the abbot, but he's nowhere to be found. The abbot appears to be troubled by something at the moment. I have no idea what it could be, though. Dun, dun, bun, bun. Welcome to All Traits Abbey. Have you come change your vocation? I'm sorry, but the abbot is not here at present. No vocation changes can take place without him here to perform the ceremony. I'm sure he'll return to it or any can, so please be patient. Oh, wait. There's a, uh... <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, there's a, uh... What do you call it back there? A uh, guardian statue. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Uh, let's see, where do we go? I came here with the intention of giving up these old buying and selling game, but people keep asking me for more things. Bet you're the same, aren't you? It's a good job I brought- It's a good job I brought my words with me then, isn't it? Uh, what do you have? Now, razor claws would probably be a nice thing to have. The Robe of Serenity? Taco might want that one. I should probably wait, though. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, not really, not right now. 
Nabbit should have been here for his lunch by now. Oh dear, I sure hope nothing's bad happened to him. Welcome, sir. You can take a break from the stress of the change of location here. Just relax. Thank you. I wonder what's become of the Abbot then, eh? People say he's not the sort of bloke who would just run off for no reason. Well, then, if he's not the bloke that will run off for no reason, it could be something that's happened to him. I wish I, I was amazed until now, but I thought it was time to train my body as well as my mind, so I became a martial artist. I'm dead lucky that I managed to change my location before the Abbot went missing. Now to practice my bow. Let's see. Face the bowie squarely, then bend from the waist in the angle of 45 degrees. Oh, hang on. First there was all the, the technicalities. What was it? Assign the bow to direction with the assigned party trait. Oh, bow. That's bow, not bow. Then press the assigned control factor to the B button. Dear Lord Almighty, what does it all mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was practicing my bow when I talked to the habit. Uh, let's see, what's this? There's a book called An Encyclopedia of Steel Weapons. Iron ore and lava lumps are essential for steel weapon making. Both can be found in all trades area. Ah, I found the recipes for a steel broadsword, a steel lance, and a steel spiked whip. He also finds a recipe for a steel bar, steel claws, and a steel fan. Not to mention a recipe for a steel axe. I've been riding around looking for the ebb and I have slept a wink. Let him have some rest, will you? It's a book called Encyclopedia of Steel Armor. Eat royal soil and iron ore to make steel stuff. Here's a hint. Explore the all trades. So I find a recipe for a steel shield, a steel helmet, and a full plate of armor. He also finds recipes for steel gauntlets, steel kneecaps, and steel sabatons. Like the band sabaton? Ah, I love that song. It's a really cool song. Well, this is a really cool band, not a cool song. Okay, so... Obviously, we can't do any of that. Well, we can't do both of this stuff right now because, well, the, uh, well, the abbot's not here. Also, let me say that I got those recipes before we do anything. This probably is a good stopping point because, uh, the next battles what that concerns the figs are going to be, like, super hard. So, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to try to do some grinding. And after I finish grinding, then I'll come back do another episode and then I'll see if I what else I can do with that okay okay so with that out of the way uh, thank you everyone so much for joining me on this if you like what you saw make sure you leave a like and comment down below what kind of game you want me to play next and I'll see if I can play it for you guys and also don't forget to subscribe so you can see this kind of stuff every day and as always we'll see you then